Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Vicstar123, with some Bouncing Betty only gameplay on World at War. So, team only use me, Bouncing Betty, if you want to call it that. So, I actually quite like this gameplay because it's, you know, it's something really different. Like the Team Claymore gameplays we've done on every other Call of Duty now. Um, it, it's something a little bit different and a strategy that you probably won't see from any other Call of Duty commentator on YouTube. So, basically, I was applying a lot of thinking and strategy to this and it may have just been luck but it worked out really well for me I actually ended the game on a positive kill death ratio so I'm just thinking of main areas where people would be heading into the building then dropping down bouncing back is there and then here making it look like I'm just a sniper at this window and the guys on the other team are like oh yeah there's a sniper in there let's go and get him and then they just unknowingly run into my bouncing betties my teammates weren't quite so good at this see I even lured that guy in there well Maybe not intentionally, but I kind of ran down the stairs, saw him, ran back up. Hopefully, he comes towards me, and he does biggish bones, falls prey to my bouncing Betty, and then another guy um, dies. Then, unfortunately, someone tossed a frag through the window and took me out. But two kills on my first life, so I'm rocking a two kill death ratio already. Just replaced the bouncing Betty here, and actually, this was quite a risky move. I saw this guy, and I didn't know what to do. I was running, jumping, ducking. He had a sniper rifle, and he wasn't really wanting to take the shot so here I was in a bit of a ridiculous situation but luckily I just managed to uh, lure that guy towards me and just blow both of us up so um, rocking three kills for me and um, only one kill on me from the enemy so that's a three kill death ratio dropping down to 1.5 and this is this was almost majorly win so I see this guy here I run up towards him and unfortunately gets a shot on me I get the bouncing betty down and kill him but if he hadn't have got me there that would have been pretty win um, and actually that was a call out from a teammate so team work helped now I realized that they were all rushing on this side of the map so I decided to leave that one Betty over there and again that worked out quite nicely so we're just holding it off in this room it was really quite a good safe room and um, as you'll see in a second they try and flank around the side door and there we go so I was putting a lot and a lot of thought into this gameplay. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to remember the thought process I went through whilst playing this game. And you never know if you uh, decide to go bouncing Betty only, you might, you might find this useful. Not a clue. Not a clue. So this was a challenge to say the least. It took us quite a few games to get to a point where we could even come close to winning because um, you know, in a lot of games, people just switch to Bomb Squad. Um, I'm assuming these guys didn't have Bomb Squad. And I was always going for a new Bouncing Betty spot to go with. Um, and it was actually a really close game. We nearly lost this one. Um, you'll have to see what happens at the end. Uh, it's a classic World at War thing, actually. I won't, I won't say anything too soon. Again, just going to try and lure this guy towards my Bouncing Bettys. Just crouch down here and... Um, works like a charm I believe I don't know I don't remember yeah there we go so he came running in and boom so we switched spawns here and the others at the other spawn basically we needed to work as a team here we all needed to be together so we could cover the maximum amount of entrances so people couldn't slip in and the basically here our spawn got split so we had some people back at the other building and some people here so I was just telling them all to kill themselves and get over here so we had a whole team in this area and it was actually a lot harder to hold off because there wasn't one safe room with about two entrances like there was in the other room. There were, there were so many staircases, ladders and such coming up to this building. So, And actually some of you guys may have been watching me uh, playing this game live. Basically now what I do is whenever I'm playing Xbox I just live stream it so you guys can come and watch it. And um, a few of you might have seen the live gameplay of us doing this and there was a lot of teamwork going on. I probably wasn't being the... Uh, nicest kind of team leader I was being quite um, you know quite directive can I do this go that is this entrance covered is that entrance covered but it paid off and we managed to hold it down it was such a small margin we had I mean one kill here it was one kill the whole time and I really wasn't sure whether we'd be able to hold it or not now that's another thing when Modern Warfare 3 comes out I'm gonna be live streaming um, all of those games that I play on Twitch TV this was pretty win here. The guy thought he'd cleared them out and then I just dropped one next to him. So I'm going to be streaming all of my games on Modern Warfare 3. It's just going to be live on Twitch TV. And on the midnight that the game comes out, um, as soon as it's released, I'm going to start live streaming then. And this was just 
just hilarious. I was like, no, no, stop running. No, stay back. Stop. And he didn't stop. And then, oh my god, no, no, not, not mods, not hacks. And that was an epic fail. But I got a kill with my other bouncing bay and mods. And I was just like, oh gosh, because we're, we're 50 points up. We've got a five kill lead here. And I was like, no, I, I don't want to get owned by the motto. We didn't know what he'd have, what he'd have, god mode or whatever. It's really ruined World at War, all this hacking. Um, we were just like, what's going to happen? No. And then dogs. And it's like, what? No. No, he, no one ever got a seven kill streak. What the heck? Not dogs. No. So I was like, will we be able to hold this? We've still got a six kill lead. And then we're starting to, you know, get spread out here. We've got dogs, and I'm running from the dog, and then it just turns around for no reason. So, I just decided, well, hopefully, I'm still host. So, what I went and did was, I just checked the score. Yes, we are winning. I've got a positive kill-death ratio. End game. Host ended game. That's a victory. That's a win for me, and a loss for the hackers. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed you know, something a little bit different, that's what this random weapon series is about, and if you could leave a like and favourite rating, that would be awesome. If not, don't worry about it.